What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking paper six skills for biology and uh, we're gonna talk about the preparing table skill. Okay, this question comes up on question one and you need to be able to know the general rules, all right? So the first and foremost rule is your independent variable. Okay, I'm gonna write it IND, goes to your left and your dependent variable go to your right all the time all right so let's say you're doing an experiment where the temperature where you're measuring the rate of diffusion based on temperature you're changing so you're changing your temperature which is your independent variable you can watch the video on variables if you haven't yet so temperature is going to be here it's going to go to your left remember because it is your independent variable so it's going to go temperature here temperature and then we're going to have um, the rate that is changing so we'll say rate but notice here what's wrong temperature rates we're missing something which is the units so you cannot be writing your units one degree so this is two degree so this is three degrees so no there's a lot of repetition here so instead you put your units up on your title here and that's the second thing we're going to talk about is the units are only going to go at your on your header. So on the header, you're going to have the units. So temperature, the unit for temperature is degrees. You can write it as a slash. Let's let's remove that. That's a bit okay. So let's do that. Maybe that's a header, big header. But anyways, um, we can do slash degrees delicious, or you can put it in brackets. Whatever works for you works best. Okay, one of these, not anything apart from these. And then for rate, rate is in let's say. Me, uh, per meter so that's going to be meter negative one or just slash slash meter which is going to be a bit confusing for those type of units so yeah um, we can talk about other units for example if it's mass you're going to have it in grams if it's in you know yeah that's all and if it's color it doesn't have a unit all right now this the third one we're going to talk about is you see this this little overlapping situation they do not like it the examiners do not like it so make sure you don't do any overlapping this is the right way to do it this on the other hand no also this no make sure there's no cutting your tables it also matters that you are taking time to neatly line up your ruler and make your table make a ruler use a ruler okay third rule actually we're gonna say neat lines with a ruler and if you're wondering with a ruler and if you're wondering do they actually care about that they actually do and there's a mark for it all right so that's about it that's a general rule and let's go and practice with questions obviously so alrighty so let's do a question to really cement those skills okay so it says here that the rice attains starch and that amylase is the enzyme that breaks on that starch make sure to pause this video to read it properly before um the, the we proceed because i'm just going to be shortening whatever is going on so What's happening here is you have two beakers, W and A. They undergo the same same procedure, except into your W, you have 20 centimeters cubes of water, distilled water. However, on A, you have 20 centimeters cubes of amylase. So amylase is breaking down the starch into reducing sugar. And then you do the Benedict test here. And you, you put them in a water bath, and you're trying to see which one has what color. So after five minutes, the color of the contents are observed, and it's recorded here in the image that you see. So W state started blue, because Benedict is blue, and it stayed blue. A10, on the other hand, started blue and became orange. So they're telling you, draw a table for this. It is very simple. Now we need to identify what is our independent variable. What are we changing? Okay, so W10, A10, these are different samples that we're using. So W10 and A10 are the things that we are changing. The amylase concentration, which in A10 is zero, and W10 and uh, in A10 is um, 20 centimeter cube. In W10, it's zero, right? So we're going to do W10 and A10. These are the samples we are examining. Okay, so make sure you use a ruler. Don't be like me and do draw wiggly lines. Okay, so. The first one we're going to say test tube. Test tube does not have any unit, so we're not going to write anything. Okay, and our test tube is W10 and A10. So we're going to write them here W10 and A10. Okay, please do not make these lines. This is just, you know, trying to explain to you. And then you have color. 
do not say because it stayed blue that means it doesn't have reducing sugar that is not for you to do they're just telling you put it on a table and just write the colors down all right you're not expected to analyze the results just yet so um colors you can say color of the test color of the sample just say color make it simple guys there's no unit for color as we know so w10 it stays the same or you can just say it's blue and then a10 you can say it turned orange or just orange because it's simple and that's it that is as simple as it this is the simplest form you could ever get so thank you guys for watching i'll be sharing with you this notes and this paper so you can revise and look back at it thank you guys for watching this video see you in another one